home in the small town of Wanamingo, Minnesota. There's a man known for his holiday spirit, and then last year, he had to cancel this neighborhood Christmas celebration because of a near-death experience. As Carol Evans' Alicia Lewis tells us, this year, the spirit of the season lives on. This is all lit up with uh, all the Christmas lights around the trailer, of course. A modern-day Kris Kringle. It's pretty fun watching the people's expressions. It's, yeah. it's pretty enjoyable. Mike Overby may not have a big red sleigh, but he does have a big white truck and a decked out trailer. Oh, there's no place like home for the holiday. He, his closest friends and family have gotten together for the past 20 years for one night to spread Christmas cheer to the residents of Wanamingo. For the holidays, you can't beat home, sweet home. Except last year, the unexpected happened. I was ATV in and it basically had the accident and hit my head on, on, a, on tar. And from there, I don't remember anything. They helicoptered me out and got me to the hospital. You can't prepare for that phone call and seeing the person that you love look like that and struggle to stay alive for so long. I can't express how horrible it is. Mike's girlfriend, Kim Walstead, says they had no choice but to cancel the Christmas celebration last year, uncertain if Mike would be able to continue with the annual holiday tradition fact for how severe his injury, his brain injury it was, the fact that he's still alive and doing this well is amazing. Somebody is shining down on him. An old tradition in a new light, the spirit of the season lives on another night. I think that's pretty much more of it than anything, yeah. Bringing people together, especially after my accident, I think it's pretty pretty great. Mike is doing much better and says he has a few difficulties he deals with on a daily basis, but he takes it one day at a time. And Corey Camille, as you could see from the story, that group so much fun. They had an absolute blast. And uh, one of the great things too, they also collect toys for tots mm. from all of the participants. So it's a great thing they do every single year. Got to get Father uh, Christmas Mike up here. To go to, to Winnipeg. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> for sure. All right. Great. Well, Thank you, Alicia. Yeah.